good morning everybody good afternoon good evening and i know that almighty god will bless you and guide you wherever you are at this time in the year what do we have to do as children of god we have to pray we have to watch and pray and leave everything in the hand of the lord may almighty god bless you in jesus name amen our topic today is facing obstacles with faith facing obstacles with faith the book of numbers chapter 14 verse 9 says only do not rebel against the lord nor fear the people of the land for they are our bread their protection has departed from them and the lord is with us do not fear them have you ever been discouraged that you wanted to die that's how the israelites felt as they were posed to enter the promised land they said if only we had died in the land of egypt or if only we have died in this wilderness numbers 14 verse 2 these people had lost perspective you know they were allowing their fear to overwhelm them but caleb and joshua told the people only do not rebel against the lord nor fear the people of the land for they are our bread their protection has departed from them and the lord is with us do not fear them numbers 49 what is your fear in your life now who is that giant that is on your way wait on the lord he will take care of it god doesn't want us to run from our our giants he wants to, to attack them for example let's take the giant of addiction let's say you have a problem with drugs or a problem with drinking recognize you have a problem first then bring it into the open into the light of the day make yourself accountable to someone and realize that you cannot do this in your own strength call on god and pray for his power but don't just face your giants defeat them don't leave any backup plan to go back and do that thing again deal with your giants don't let them conquer you faith and worry cannot coexist because when faith walks in worry walks out and when worry steps in faith walks out they don't get along in fact they cancel each other out someone has wisely pointed out that when you trust you don't worry and when you worry you don't trust so we want faith in our lives not worry every christian every child of god sometimes face difficulty the christian is always there every day facing temptation and as a child of god what will you do when this when those temptations come you wait on god so let's face the obstacles that are before us with great faith and as you have faith in the lord i want you to do this go in and pray and fast because everything that god cannot do does not exist prayer and fasting is a sign of our desire and hunger to seek god through prayer and fasting we develop a passion for god that supersedes everything else when this happens spiritual power and energy begins to flow into us allowing us to live above our circumstances and low self expectations so many questions some people have asked about fasting when you should fast how will you fast in the book of isaiah 58 god explains some of the reasons for biblical fasting and others are modeled throughout the bible as well some of these verses include when you are seeking the direction of the lord when you haven't received an answer to your prayer for deliverance breaking the yoke of bondage 
on behalf of a friend or who is under a heavy burden of problem or situation. So you have to fast. You have to hope on God. And when you fast and pray, Almighty God will talk to you. Your faith will be strong. In Jesus' name, Amen. And remember, there are many rewards for spiritual fasting. But there are private rewards between you and God. In fact, in the book of Matthew chapter 6, 16, 18, Jesus says, When you fast, don't make it obvious as the hypocrites do. Okay? Do not be shouting everywhere and be telling everybody, I'm going to fast. This is what Jesus Christ said. Make it a personal something. Because when you are asking for something serious, you go in and do this fasting. You don't need to let people know that you are fasting. Because immediately you do that. You will receive a reward which is not what you want to receive at that time. Because the reward you want to receive is is from God. The rewards of fasting are related to whatever motivated you to fast. Whatever reward you are seeking, establish it by faith and proclaim it before you ever enter the fast. Accept to receive it. God will see it in secret and you will receive openly. Amen. As you study the Bible, you will discover three specific rewards of fasting. Fasting subdues your flesh. Fasting brings revelation and fasting leads to deliverance. And as you fast, have faith. Have faith in God. Because faith is very important here. When you believe in God, trust in God, have faith that everything you are looking for, everything you are fasting for, that Almighty God has answered you. And some people that sometimes they ask what is faith i just want to explain it a little here hebrew 11 1 defines faith as confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see faith is the result of believing the gospel the good news that Jesus died for our sin and made a way for us to be right with God and spend eternity in heaven. When we allow the reality of the gospel to affect every part of our lives, it changes the way we think, which changes how we behave. Faith causes us to act on what we haven't experienced yet, to believe promises in the Bible that haven't been fulfilled yet, and to trust God when our situations haven't changed yet so faith gives you strength the inner resolve to withstand turmoil amen there are so many things when you have faith in god like when you are praying when you have faith because god looks only on your faith in your prayer it's not any other thing god looks on your faith and he will use your faith to work for you and i will stop here now and I pray that Almighty God will see you through. In everything you touch, in everything you do, even if you lost something, God will help you. You will get greater things in your life. Your family will do good. Your children will be okay. And Almighty God will continue to bless you. Do not weep. Do not cry. Believe in the Lord. If that thing is so strong, enter into fasting. You can fast for three days. Almighty God will see you through. In Jesus' name, amen.